guys, so I am here to do, I know, a long-awaited video. It has been so long since I've done a period product review, and I apologize. I know a lot of you guys are missing them. I probably once a day get a, are you gonna bring back the period product reviews? When are you gonna do a next cup review? This and that, blah, 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 period this, period that. And I just wanna say A, thank you for being patient with me, and B, the reasoning behind me taking a break on period products was that I honestly was not excited about period products. I mean, there wasn't really a cup or a product that was like new or innovative that I felt like excited me enough to do a review on it. I know that sounds weird, but I feel like after a while, after testing as many cups as I have, they just all start kind of being too similar to the point where I just feel like I'm just repeating myself over and over again. But according to you guys, you guys don't mind. So here I am back with another cup review. I also had an issue where I was waiting on a company who was gonna send me products for my next review. I swear we had an agreement, we were gonna do it in September, and then they kept pushing it back, pushing it back, emailing me saying like, oh, sorry, we didn't get out this month, we'll get it out next month. It was Dear Kate's. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a period legging review. Um, they actually like wanted to work with me and then they just ended up not sending me something and they kind of strung me along for like three months for no reason. So I was waiting on those products to do a review on. So again, that's another reason why I kind of took that break. And another reason other than not being excited about anything new out there was also I honestly just wanted to give my vagina a break. You know, I've said this before, she works hard in these videos, testing out new products, this and that. You know, I have a very sensitive body, as you guys know, I have endometriosis, I have PMDD, I also suffer from a lot of other things. So for me to keep every month putting my body, my vagina, my menstrual cycle through something new, possibly not happy new, um, it was just getting to be too much. As you guys know, there were two cups that I tried. Um, one was the, what was that, that Lily Cup thing that collapsed, the compact, Lily Compact, that really messed my vagina up. Like, it, she did not like that cup. It was horrible. I couldn't even finish that review. It was so bad. There was that one, and then the AIO cup, AIO, AOI, whatever cup that, like, you, like, push the little stem at the bottom, it was supposed to, like, leak down, and you would never have to pull it out. All, you know, there's just been some duds that again, like my body's just like, I'm tired of this. Again, I did a full year of period products. I felt like it was time to take a break, enjoy my life and that time of my cycle as much as I could with the products that I was loving. You guys know I love my Femi Cycle Cup. Um, so I took that break, but I'm back now. I have lots and lots of stuff that I want to review and yeah, thanks for being patient with me. So if you couldn't tell from today's title of this video above, this is going to be a review on the Maluna Cup. A lot of you guys have been asking me to do this review. Um, I've had this cup actually for a long time in my stash, but again, I found other more interesting cups to review or cups that really worked for me, and I just kind of got put to the wayside. I never really got around to doing it. But I did test this out, and you guys will see in the upcoming clips all the good stuff, the stuff that everybody comes here for, which is to see my period blood, as weird as that sounds. I don't mean like they enjoy seeing my period blood, but I know a lot of you guys come here for the parts where I am just like real and down and like down in the nitty-gritty with you guys which is showing you guys you know my full experience using it which means showing you the blood showing you you know how I feel inserting and pulling out and all of that so um that sounded weird I kind of feel a little bit uncomfortable I'm not gonna lie as I was like doing the clips for this video on my period I felt really nervous you'll see because it's been so long since I've uh, shown you guys so much of me. So yeah, if you wanna see how I did on my period with this cup, keep watching. As always, if you wanna skip the bloody details, I will leave a link underneath this video for you so that you can skip to the end of how I felt about this cup and all of that. But yeah, welcome back guys. I'm really happy to uh, be back to doing my normal period product reviews.
All right, guys, so this is day one of my period. I've actually started my period this morning, but I have been crazy busy up until now. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon. I actually need to leave right now to go pick up my kids from school, but I wanted to start this review or this wear, t this, this wear test. I sound like I'm testing a foundation. This wear test of the Maluna. So let's go ahead and stick this up. Let me go pee and I'll stick this up. I already sterilized it, did all that. And I'm again, I'm nervous. This thing is tiny compared to my other ones. We will see how it does. So yeah, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then I'll stick it up. Or sorry, I'm a little bit frazzled and uncomfortable because it's been so long since I've uh, gotten so personal with you guys when it comes to my period. Um, this should be interesting. It's my you know first day and whatnot. And um, I've been wearing just my period panties because I wasn't sure if I was going to start today because my period's kind of been weird and like lingering for the last three days like am I gonna no am I gonna so I've been just wearing my period panties just in case um so I am bleeding pretty heavily right now like right now I can feel it coming down so I should probably shove this thing up there as soon as as soon as I can um but I'm gonna try my this is my tried and true fold for most cups so I'm gonna stick to this fold I don't know what this is like the punch down I think I don't know whatever I'm gonna stick this up there so Uno momento, por favor. All right, please don't get lost up there. Please don't get lost. Okay. Hold on. Huh. So, this thing is kind of a bitch to open. Come on. I think I got it open. I don't know. I think. I think it's up there and open. It was kind of, hold on, whoa. I don't know why, but the pressure of it almost made me feel like I needed to fart. Not queef, but actually like fart because it like put pressure back there. Yes, I know. I'm very ladylike, you guys know. Um, actually feels fine though. I can't feel it. I got it in there though. Was didn't take like forever. It was a little bit of like a struggle compared to like my Femi and my other ones that I'm more used to. But then again, this is my first time with this cup. It feels fine though. So I'm gonna wash my hands, obviously, and I'm gonna go pick up my kids and I'll check in in a couple hours. All right guys, so it has been probably only like an hour since I last updated or put this in the first time. I'm having a little bit of cramping, which wasn't there prior to putting the cup in. So I would say that it's probably due to the cup. It's not like due to the fact that I'm on my period because I've been on my period, you know, prior to that using, um, you know, period panties. So I'm definitely having some cramping on my left side and I think it is due to the cup. Um, it's not terrible, like the Intimina Compact one made me cramp so bad I couldn't even put that thing back in, but it is not like the most comfortable. So I'm gonna pop it out, see what's going on down there. And actually I'll just look right now to see if I have any leaking. Small amount of leaking, tiny bit about of leaking. So just gonna put that out there. I'm almost 100% positive that I got the seal right though. Um, I mean, I've been doing this now for over a year and I feel like I know how to put a cup in properly. So I'm not sure why it's leaking, but it is a little bit. So I'm gonna take it out real quick and we'll see what it looks like. You know, I'll film the taking it out part like I did in my other videos. I'm kind of scared that I'm not gonna be able to get it out. Not, be not because like I'm huge down there because it's right there, but just because the the like thing to get it out is like a little flat ball. Oh wait, never mind. Here it comes. Ooh, that's a lot of suction. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Hold on. All right, so I had some um, clotting issues. So there's lots of, again, TMI, look away if you don't want to see this. There's lots of clotting on the inside. As you can see, there's just like a little bit of blood at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Again, it's only been an hour. You'd be surprised when you start using a cup and actually looking to see how much you're bleeding, how much, how less, much less it is than you think. I feel like when you use a pad or period underwear, things like that, it looks massive. But when you actually collect it in a cup on its own, it's actually not as much as you think. So um, again, just an hour of bleeding, but it caught, I mean, it caught, it caught, quite a bit there is a bunch of gunk on the outside though like there's a bunch of clotting and blood on the outside of the cup so that makes me 
obviously I'm leaking over somewhere. So I'm going to try to adjust it, put it back in. We'll see how I feel. Ooh, having some major cramps since I took it out. All right, guys, so it's about 1044. A little bit tired, I'm ready for bed. Um, but the pain and cramping went away that I felt like the cup was giving me. But as I was lying in bed working on my computer, a few weird things started happening. So one, I felt like there was just like a lot of air moving out of my vagina. Like I was telling John, it felt like somebody was blowing bubbles out of my vagina, 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 vagina. It didn't feel like a queef because I know what a queef feels like. Y'all saw me and heard me queef in a prior video, but it, it like, it literally felt like someone was like, you know what I mean? Like just bubble, there it goes. I just felt it again. Just like bubbles popping in my vaginal canal. So not sure if it's the cup doing that or what, but I ignored it. I mean, it was an odd sensation and a little surprising, but I ignored it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to check real quick to see if I've had any leaking. Um, all right, so I'm going to show you guys real quick. <laughs> Sorry. So if you can see that, there's like the dried up blood that's like that lighter color. And then that darker color is leaking on the black. It shows up it's showing up weird on camera. Like it's showing up brown on camera or tan, but it's actually just a shiny, like that's just shiny. That right there is the new blood. So obviously I am having spotting and I was just, well, I should probably close the window. Hold on. I think I would know by now to close that stupid window, especially at night when you can clearly see into our bathroom from across the street, but no, apparently I haven't learned my lesson. But yeah, okay, so I'm gonna pull this out and see see what's in there. So once again, a lot of stringy goopiness. There's about a centimeter and a half of blood down there. See it moving around. Um, not, there's a little bit of goopiness on the outside of the rim. I don't know. I think, do you see how like the thing is squished too? It's not like an open. It's like squished like that. It, I don't know. All my other cups, when I pull them out, would be completely round again. This one is like, like it just stuck in this like squished position. So it almost makes me feel like, I don't know, maybe this just the actual silicone or medical grade, whatever they use is like, maybe it's not f flexible or spring backy enough you know what i mean like it shouldn't still be this weird deformed oval like it all of my other cups pop open like they pop back open to a open circle the second i pull them out no matter how often i've used them they've all done that this however is just stuck in that oval shape and that's probably how it was sitting in my vagina this whole time which is probably pushing in and out air over and over again and which was also probably why there's leaking in my underwear. So I know for a fact, especially the second time I put it up, I know for a fact that I had it completely open. So I'm just thinking that this is just not sealing and it's just not fitting correctly in my vagina. Even when I was pulling it out, there was not really a whole lot of resistance. Like I didn't even have to break the suction to pull it out. So I just, I think this cup just might be too small for me um, all the way around it's just too small and this is like the size medium I don't know like I can't even imagine what the size small looks like so maybe this is geared towards smaller girls but at the same time I feel like because it doesn't spring back into its form it might be difficult for smaller or younger girls to use as well so this might not be a first time use this might not be great for first timers either like I just don't feel like it's a very I don't know, like out of all the other cups that I felt and stuff, it just does not feel, just doesn't feel like a very high quality cup. Yeah, so I'll put it back in and I'll sleep on it and I will check it in the morning. <laughs> I'm so tired. Ooh, nipples. Um, I slept really well last night. Um, not necessarily because of the cup or anything. I don't think that's really why, but I slept well last night. But I'm going to pull the cup out, see where we are at. And yeah, slight amount of leaking. Seems like the normal amount from yesterday. 
Ugh, I gotta get real far down to get this thing out. So that's a little bit annoying. Ooh. So when I was sleeping, it decided to get way up there and it's not the easiest to get out because of its stupid little flat ball handle. Um, but, wow, it's dark, dark. So this blood is super black and dark, like my soul. No, I'm just kidding. You see that? It's like black. Um, it's very thick, very clotty. I will say it's a lot cleaner on the outside this time. But again, I still had a little bit of leaking in my underwear and I was horizontal all last night because I was sleeping. So it doesn't give me much faith in using it to work Mom. out. Yes, sweetie, this is an awkward situation. Yes. When I bring water upstairs in my room when, in, at, overnight, it turns into water molecules because that's why some of them go, that's why some of the water is gone. Mm-hmm, that's right. She's watching Magic School Bus and learning. I don't think that this would hold up very well, say, when I'm working out. Again, as you can see, it's like still dented in an oval shape and not like 100% a circle. The bounce back's just not there. I just don't think that it's warming up or moving with my body or molding into my body like the other ones do. So this, that would make me very concerned about again working out squatting running all of those different exercises so i need to go work out right now and i just don't feel like honestly putting this back in i think that's fair of me to say my review of this is i know it's not going to work when i work out and i don't feel like bleeding through anything or making a mess out in public um so yeah i don't i'm not a fan of this maluna cup i i just i'm not a fan i I'm just not a fan. I'm not a fan. All right guys, so I think I'm gonna end this update right here just because you guys know how I feel about that cup. I did all night in it, I did a whole day in it. Um, I actually just wanna show you real quick what I ended up going to the gym in. I used my Femi Cycle Cup. This is a couple hours worth of bleeding. I'm actually having a relatively light period so far, knock on wood. I know the second I say that tomorrow I'm gonna like bleed out or something. <laughs> um, but I'm actually having a very a nice controlled period. So the FemiCycle cup worked really well. I haven't even worn any backup period panties today, nor have I worn a pad or anything like that. I went and worked out at the gym. I got a massage. I, you know, did errands. Like I've been good to go and this has caught everything with no leaking. So as you guys know, FemiCycle is my favorite cup so far. It's my go-to when I don't want to worry about leaking on my cup. It's not the only cup I use, however. I do rotate through a few others, as you guys know if you saw that favorites video, but for the most part, Femi Cycle is my go-to. So that is what I used, and again, it is uh, this one just not a fan of, so yeah. So as you could tell, if you watched those clips, I did not really like the Maluna cup. I just was not a huge fan. It's It just to me seems like a run-of-the-mill average cup, but the issue for me was that it was too small, I think. I think it was just too small. I'm going to show you two other cups that I actually really enjoy using um, real quick. They're not my like go-to cups, but I do use them when I'm having different types of periods or when my cervix is in a different position. I honestly don't think that there's just one like golden cup out there for everybody. I, in my opinion, feel like there's not just one cup meant for everybody. Especially for me when my cervix goes up and down throughout my cycle. Um, sometimes I need a lower cup, sometimes I need a higher cup, sometimes I need a softer cup. Just depending on where, like how my body's feeling. I mean your body as a female is always changing every day, every month, every year. It's constantly just changing. We're always in a state of change, which is so frustrating being a woman. Because of that, I don't think there's just one cup for me. So I have three of my favorite cups right here that I cycle through during my cycle. And I just wanted to show you guys what I mean by the fact that I just think this cup is just a run of the mill, but just too small for me. And that's why it didn't work. So here's the Maluna cup. And then here's my Schoon cup. As you can see, the Schoon is bigger. It's also a lot wider. It is a wider mouth. Sorry if you hear my dog whining as some of you know if you watch my day in the life videos we did adopt a rescue dog and he's still acclimating. He wants to come downstairs but he's scared because of the camera. Um, I don't know why he's afraid of the camera but he is. 
better get used to it in this house. Um, but yeah, it's just bigger, and I think that's why it fits so nicely. And then we have the Femi Cycle Cup, which is like my number one go-to, especially during the beginning of my period when my cervix is so low. I love this cup. Even though it's shorter, still again, it's wider. It's just wider all around. Then you have my last favorite cup, which is the Lunette Cup, and again, it is bigger. So with that being said, I just think that this cup was too small for me and also maybe a titch too firm and that's why it didn't work. All I know is that I kept putting it in and it just didn't want to like sit correctly. It just, I think, just kept moving around too much. It also feels cheap to me compared to my other cups and by that I mean that it definitely, um, it it didn't spring back like the retention of here I'll just show you right now so I'm gonna squeeze these things just for a few seconds when I open it my spoon pops back whereas this stays oval same thing with my lunette cup that springs open that does not and I think because of that when I went to insert it in and open it it just never fully went back to that opening um, and it just I don't know it just it the plastic just feels cheap to me now at $24.95 it is one of the lower end models of you know period cups uh, the ones that I like are usually around the 35 to 40 dollar range and I know I complained in my first video that I ever did on cups which is my diva cup video about the price of the diva cup being so expensive but after you know the fact that you can use them over and over again and you're never buying anything else whatever I realized why it's okay to spend that much I still don't completely understand why they're that much though because the reality of it is is this is just one thing of plastic it's a medical grade silicone or whatever it's made out of it doesn't cost that much to produce it doesn't cost that much in material so I don't really understand that aspect but I do fully understand purchasing a $40 or even $50 cup because it's a cup that you can use for the next seven to ten years Again, though, I just feel like companies should cut us a break and maybe just make things affordable for once. But yeah, so again, size, quality of plastic or silicone or whatever these things are made out of, I didn't like any of that. Also, I did not like the um, little pull thing. It's like a little flat ball. On their website, they did have different models that had different bottoms to them. One that was similar to the Lynette, which I love this handle. This is amazing. It's like nice and flat and it's got grips and you can pull it down. Um, they did have one like that. They also had one that had like a little ring at the bottom, but this is the one that was sent to me. And again, this size, I don't know. Did I tell you guys what size this was? This is the medium classic ball. Now, maybe if I would have had the large, this would have worked better for me. Like I said, I think part of it was that it was too small for me but at the same time even with a large I didn't like the plastic the plastic just does not go retain its form at all so imagine folding it getting it in and then if it doesn't really retain its opening and it's like all lobber jawed that's not gonna make a good seal so I just was not a fan of this I don't know I'm just not a fan of this I just feel like there are better made cups out there then this, I mean, I don't doubt that some people have been successful with this cup. I just wasn't. My vagina just did not like this. And uh, yeah, that's that's all I have to say about that. So, so yeah, I honestly, in my opinion, would say spend a little bit more money and get a nicer cup. Like I said, I love my Schoon. I love my Lunettes. I actually didn't even mind the Super Jenny. I did try that out. I did not do a review on it, but I did try that out. And my Femi Cycle Cup, which disappeared. Oh, here it is. And my Femi Cycle Cup. So these three are my favorites right here. And then this, I just don't like. Even though saving a couple bucks is really enticing, um, if it's something that you're going to be using month after month after month, just spend that extra six, seven dollars. Just, it, it'll be okay. Just spend that extra money, you know, just to get something that really works for you. There you have it. There is my review of the Meluna. I hope you guys enjoyed. <sighs> Poor Winston just wants to come downstairs, but he's so scared right now. Come here. Come here. Again, thank you for being patient and waiting for this video. I, I promise you I'll be back with more vagina related videos. If you guys have any suggestions of upcoming period related products that you want me to try, leave them below. It really helps if you contact the company, whether through Twitter or whatever, and tag my videos or do something or tag me to them um, to get their attention because it gets really expensive. I'm not gonna lie for me to keep buying all these things. I have purchased a few in the past. I've been really, really blessed that I love J 
Generation Me, which I will leave that website below this video, has been so willing. Oh, there's Winston. <laughs> I'm really lucky that they've been so willing to send me so many products, but I've kind of ran out of those products now. So if there are any new products that you'd like me to try, like I said, just tag me, um, tweet them, whatever, just shoot them a message, uh, let them know about me, and then maybe they'll just send me something. I know a lot of you guys want me to try, is it the Livia or something? It's the machine that does the like electro whatever thingies to like help with cramping. I would love to try that. But again, I'll be truthfully honest, as a YouTuber who constantly wants to, you know, try things out and everything, it would be easier if sometimes the companies would just send it to me. So that way I am not draining my bank account on things that possibly won't work. All right guys, so as you can see, I am pre-period right now. Literally like five days after my period. Starting to PMS, eating Girl Scout cookies, but I just wanted to come on here real quick because uh, some of my footage was destroyed for some reason during transportation from my SD card to my computer and that would be the ending part of this video. So I just wanted to do a quick uh, end of the video for you and tell you guys how much I appreciate you. I hope you guys subscribe if you enjoy these videos. Um, I'll be back in a couple weeks with another period review and yeah, I'm happy to be back. This was a lot of fun. As I was editing this video, I was like, this has been a lot of fun doing these videos again. So really excited. Um, I'm actually talking to a company right now about reviewing their cup. So we will see where that goes and I will talk to you guys all soon.